This is very good stuff. Shut up and listen. Our Constitutional Republic is dead. August 8, 2022 will go down in history as a day of infamy. The unprecedented raid on a former president's home confirms a post-Republican era for America. It's now a leftist dictatorship with the acquiescence of establishment politicians of both parties. The usual toothless threats of investigation from Kevin McCarthy and other rhinos are a waste of time. The FBI raid on President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home should be cause for the Republicans in Washington to throw out the archaic rule books and establish a shadow Congress. We're done with investigations, decorum, and fake bipartisanship. The Republican Governors Association and the states with Republican majorities in their legislatures must form a consortium to declare the federal government under the Biden disadministration Respublica Non Grata. That's an unacceptable and rejected government to those of you in Pahokee. State guards and law enforcement should be activated to oppose any federal warrant being enforced by the FBI. These FBI individuals have placed their paychecks, pensions, and careers ahead of their country and their oath. Oaths are now just one more item to check off to get a federal job. They're meaningless to people who've lost their values and morals. I would have refused to carry out the raid and resigned on the spot. I've done it before when I couldn't continue working for people I didn't respect or were incapable of good management. The hypocritical rhino establishment insiders who no longer represent the people but only their own opinions, power, wealth, and special interest co-conspirators are as responsible as the morally bankrupt Democrats for enabling the lawless Biden junta. The Republican senators who voted to confirm the fascist in sheep's clothing Merrick Garland are Murkowski, Grassley, Ernst, Moran, McConnell, Cassidy, Collins, Blunt, Tillis, Kramer, Portland, Inhofe, Lankford, Graham, Rounds, Thune, Cornyn, Romney, Moore Capito, and Ron Johnson. They are just as guilty as accessories before the fact. If this is allowed to stand, then no one in America is safe, including the squawkers in Hollywood who are joyful over what has happened. The left suicide cult doesn't realize that they will be on the list someday themselves, like the brown shirts who helped Hitler rise to power, or the good loyal Bolsheviks who Stalin purged after he rose to absolute power. It is breathtaking to note the parallels between last night's raid and the collapse of the Roman Republic in 44 BC. Nard Carrick, former New York City police commissioner, says that the Democrats are terrified of Trump's return and must prevent it at all costs. Their next move might be assassination. The Roman Senate elites felt the same way about Caesar. Trump is as popular as Caesar was, and Caesar's grisly death at the hands of the elitist establishment of Rome triggered the end of the Republic and civil wars to determine the course of the state. The result was a conservative absolute dictatorship under an emperor. It was the only answer to restore law, order, decency, prosperity, and peace. Will it be the same for us? History says it is highly likely. We are at a no-turning-back decision point, unless the unconstitutional government of old man Biden dares to disrupt the midterm election in November, the election will be the last chance for the federal government to right its wrongs. I believe the 118th Congress will be the last if it fails to reverse every decision and bill imposed by a fake majority over the last three years. We'll be better off in two federations, one blue and one red, who can join together through treaties of mutual support and defense based on common heritage, language, and borders, but with total sovereignty of self-governance. The assets of the federal government, including the military, can be apportioned fairly. As for 2024, the collusion to prevent Trump from being on the ballot won't work. Every thinking person in America should write his name in and elect him anyway. Then let's see what the swamp does. Will they overturn the people's will? Checkmate, I say. I support Congressman Sabatini of Florida, who has called for serious action against federal authorities by demanding a special session of the legislature to amend the laws regarding federal agencies and severing all ties with the DOJ. He is calling for the arrest on site of any federal agent conducting law enforcement functions in the state. Governor DeSantis recognizes us now as a banana republic, and so it is. We declare the Democratic Party, rhinos, social media re-education camps, 
and the mainstream media enemies of our constitutional republic and demand the removal of the Biden junta for orchestrating the end of our constitutional republic. Like, follow, and share to join the people to remove the enemy within, impress your friends, and gaslight the American-hating liberals. I'll see you again soon.